Hello, this is Mike Fauché. Today I want to do a really short video on QNAP's USB one-touch copy. If you have a NAS unit that's already has a USB port, um, you most likely have one-touch copy as an option. And it's some, if, if you're not already using this, this is something you really should look at, especially if you take a lot of photographs or video or carry a lot of portable devices where you want to transfer the, the content from the portable device onto your NAS unit. Um, obviously you could do it through a computer and move it to where you, wherever you want, but another option is to actually use the one-touch copy and often it's a lot easier. Uh, and I'm going to walk you through the feature, how to set it up and how it works. Okay, so if you um, do a quick search for uh, USB one-touch copy, you'll find that this launches you right into uh, the hybrid backup sync 3 and you can see here it takes you right to the section where it says one touch copy now there's some default modes um, you can use it you can use any device that's put into the USB port as external storage um, one touch copy and smart import so let's walk through smart import and start from the beginning so you can kind of see what what the steps are it's actually really simple so as you can see, I have a bunch of files on my SD card um, and my objective is to take and copy those to the NAS unit to a specific folder. So the first thing we're going to do is I want to set the folder. So let's go ahead and select. We'll pick the test folder. I'm going to use that to copy all the files. Click apply. I want to click apply. And so now the objective is to take that SD card, put it in the NAS unit, and let's see what happens next. So in just a second or so, and there it is, it's detected the SD card reader that I've actually inserted into um, the USB slot. And as you can see here, it's detected a SanDisk um, SD card reader with my SD card in it. Right now, it's basically poised, ready to copy. So what we're going to want to see is when we press the button, the expectation is that the files get transferred from the SD card onto a folder. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is go over and press the button. And what we should see is the files start to appear in the NAS folder from the SD card. So as you can see, it's created a smart import folder. And... It's, put, it's created another subfolder underneath it with today's date. And then you're, here we go, we're starting to see all the files come across. And there was around 521 pictures there. So you can see the countdown, it's actually copying the file. So it's doing it reasonably quick. Um, I, realizing these are JPEGs, but now it says it's completed. And that was all. And we get the acknowledgement beep saying it was done. And we now have copied everything from the SD card onto the NAS unit. So it's pretty much that simple. So every time you add more files, um, it will supplement the, the date folder. And as you can see, it's already released the drive and that's all there is to it. So it's a pretty easy feature. Um, it's really handy, especially for SD cards. And if you take a lot of pictures or if you're a photographer, it's a great way to get the images into your NAS unit. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, as always, if you haven't done so, please subscribe. Click that notifications icon so you'll be notified of new content. And we'll see you on the next video.